6.8. Not bad. So I'm not down another 10 pounds right now. Technically, it's like 7 pounds from the last time I did another 10 down, pounds down video. That, um, that YouTube short I shared a few days ago. Uh, I weighed uh, 325 at that point. I was like, yes, I can play We Fit now. I'm excited. I'm down another 10. I was doing a, a teaser for that. Uh, I'm going to be able to do that again soon, but it didn't stay down there. See, I also take metformin, not regularly, at least I did uh, months ago. I switched over to a supplement called Berberine. It's a Chinese uh, herb supplement, and it functions it gets the same end result as metformin, but it does it in different ways. I've been closely monitoring my blood pressure and things like that uh, going forward, but uh, I've effectively replaced my metformin with it. Uh, I have a Twitter thread that I'll link to here in the description that goes into far more detail, but to keep it short and simple, uh, the berberine lets me sleep through the night. It suppresses my blood glucose uh, to the point to where, you know, I have low uh, reading numbers throughout the day and I enjoy it. It doesn't make me feel bad. I, I really sucked that first day where I took it too close to the metformin when I was switching between them. But other than that, it hasn't been a real issue outside of dehydrating. Dehydrating me, apparently. I didn't realize that was until I went in to go donate blood plasma and it took me like a whole hour to do it when I'm usually in and out of the process itself takes like 40 minutes for me. It took longer. Uh, my cycles were taking longer. They were getting less plasma. I did not feel sluggish or bad. So it's like feeling good doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing good. But I looked at the weight and the body composition on the scale and they showed I was also very low on the water compared to everything else. Like everything, all the numbers go down. We have a body composition scale and something like this, but the water went down at a rate that was much higher than everything else. But after the first couple of weeks of being under berberine, things have evened out. I mean, I took in more water to help make up for that, but uh, I don't need to drink more water than what I normally care for now. I am maintaining and losing weight at a proper rate again, because that was crazy how fast it went down. I was like, okay, maybe I just needed to do a few proper evacuations, and I was just behind, but nope, too much water loss. But a 10 pounds video will be coming soon enough, soon as I hit it and I am consistently at that rate. So pretty much I need to be a 328 or lower consistently, at least for over a week. That's why I just got a little too excited before. We'll move forward soon. Let's get to the rest of the video. Hey, kind of what? Okay, so here we have the cold heart numbers. The last time I did body measurements were May 8th. So updating just close to four months later, September 2nd. So you see a lot of good positive changes, some of them pretty big. This explains why I can fit some of my pants and shirts a little bit better. Although these aren't always the lowest numbers I've ever had. Collectively, this is the best I've had so far in years. It's my waist. I was conflicted on these, you know, these waist measurements because this is where I should wear my pants at. But then down here is where I should really be wearing my pants at. So it's less. It's a lower number. It's right here up under my belly as you see. But I go with the higher number. It reflects where I'm actually wearing my pants at. This is going to change where my stomach isn't protruding out as much. Now abdomen measurement for me is usually my lower stomach here. I mean I think technically it's right here but again that gets me a lower number because I can squeeze in more. So I go with... Because of, you know, my body, I'm bigger than I should be and all that, I go with what's a bit more further out, which pushes me out more. Helps me better with finding clothes or whatever. So these numbers would change, which my body becomes more in line, more, more properly proportionate. But for now, yeah, this is where I'm doing it from. Okay? That feels like cheating is doing my arm. You see, it's pulling in the fat, but when I do this, I mean, when it's at rest, this part here that's going over is the widest part of my arm. It's all soft. But it makes sense because when I get shirts or whatever, I mean, the shirts pull this in. It's not like I'm just going to be hanging out here all day. But that's where I'm at. And then with measurements like my calves here, um, I put, put onto the widest part again, and then I flex it a bit. See the number one up? This is how I figure it out. And this is the right calf. 
number so far is 1748. This is as far in as I can get it. But, oh, 1755, loosened it up, but the flex, yeah, got me out to 55. So I know it always goes up. I expect it to go up a little bit more than that sometimes, but that's where I'm at for the right calf. This is my right calf and left calf. They look the same, just in person or whatever, but this left one is far more firm at the moment. The right one is much looser. So either I'm becoming a bit more inflamed here or it's going down, but I mean, over time it's still lower. So I don't know what my body does. I mean, you hear about the keto and just fasting and weight loss and the whooshing where all of a sudden your body just starts to flush out some of the fat that it turns into water and go boom. And I experience that sometimes when I can do the longer fasting, but it's always funny to me how when I do these body measurements, how wildly different the body sizes can be. Cause I'm measuring at just about the same point on each one, really at the widest point on each one, doing the flats I showed you. And I'm still getting over an inch difference between my left and my right leg. And it's not like I do more in my right leg, at least not consciously but that's part of the trade here, part of the measuring. Yeah, so, well, I'm actually happy with my progress over the past few months. I'm hoping to keep moving forward. And I've been doing more exercises. I mean, earlier in the year, I wasn't doing anything. I mean, technically I moved to a whole house, so that count, I did that over a few weeks and then I recovered and I was just moving and unpacking. So I guess that counts for something. But I've been doing more dedicated exercises recently. Uh, Mainly squats, uh, bicep curls. Um, I really love that. Uh, I really love using the rowing machine. And then, since I'm an upper flat and have to go up and down the stairs every time I want to wash clothes or leave the house or anything, so uh, it's not a lot. I've so, like, 15 steps in the house and five steps on the front porch, 12 steps to the basement. It adds up over time. I mean, these are steps I wouldn't be taking any other, other steps, so. My activity is increasing. A lot of the nickel and diamond that's going on in here. I'm going to start moving into doing, to doing more. Um, not doing more. I should be able to start doing proper sit ups and proper push ups. Yeah, I'm getting strength in those areas. It's tough for me to do them at all. I don't have the full body strength to support myself fully. The way I do push ups now is that I lean at an angle at a wall. Like I put my arm straight forward out at a wall and I push, do push ups against the wall. And I've been going lower and lower. I'm about half of the distance of where I started it from my shoulders, like right about the waist area now when I do it. So I should be able to do it from the floor soon. And that means I should be able to do sit-ups properly soon. I mean, I can do them, but I can't move as far forward as I'd like because of my gut. But as you see that, my gut's going down a bit. Technically, it's going up, but I'm expecting it to go down enough to where I can push forward safely what I'd be coming, uh, any type of physical issue. Um, I've got a few more videos to share. Like, I mean, from here, from the rest of the video here, you're going to just see me talking more about the individual measurements. That's what the last six minutes or so are for. It's a lot, feel free to skip it or whatever to just look at the first page or so to see the differences and how my body measures now versus four months ago. But otherwise, yeah, uh, the rest of the detail is just there for people that like that sort of thing. And people that like to see, you know, how things have changed over time, how I tracked it. But I'm going to release a few more videos over the next few days, just talking a bit more about what I'm doing here. And I'll show you, show myself actually doing some of the exercises. Um, I mean, I blocked myself out from doing it when I moved in. I put it on my clothes back there as well. But all, well, over 98% of my clothes are clean and hung up now. And eight as well. The rest of what I want, I mean, I got another load of laundry to do so but they'll all be perfectly done at that point. But the back portion is able to be used properly as a workout area now, and I like that. But I hope you all are doing well. You take care. God bless. I think it's pretty funny how my neck has changed over time. It's the thing that I'm probably the most self-conscious about on camera. I mean, there's other parts of me that I am self-conscious about, but yeah, my neck is just as crazy. It just goes big, goes small, just changes so much over time. I'm not doing any exercise whatsoever in that area as far as I know that affects it that much. I mean, there's this one laying down stretch I do with one of those neck things that can help you out. I'll toss a picture on screen, but that's just like 10, 20 minutes a day. If I even do it every day, it's like every few days, it helps out with my back pain.
But yeah, but uh, yeah, last time I did this, May 8th, so neck is going out right now. <laughs> and my shoulder, yeah, you see it's been a right there, but it is, you know, trending downwards. Now I'm actually losing fat around my shoulders, that's great. My chest, despite how big I feel it feels or whatever, has been trending downwards for a while too, and I'm enjoying that. I may actually hit the 40s. Um, let's hit this right with the numbers going as far back as. I don't think I've ever been in the 40s. But as you see how these periods will go down and up, down and up, down and up. I'm in another downward period and I'm hoping it consistently is going down. But just going off of the my last peak, which was in November 8th. Uh, yeah, it's close to, well, really two months from then. And I'm down four inches, so another 10 months, I should be in the 40s, hopefully. My waist, oh, this has been a bit of a monster. You know, I, let me look at the neck real quick. Oh, I don't have that, oh, I do, okay. Neck is all over the place, but getting back to the waist. Liking how I'm going down, I am having more room in my pants now, and that's been great. The bigger thing has been just being able to fit smaller shirts, like, Every time I go down an inch or so, I buy the next size shirt smaller, uh, downwards. So I'm wearing 4Xs now. Last year I was wearing 5Xs and I bought the 4Xs around April, May last year. So it's great I've been able to wear them recently. I should be buying some 3Xs soon. And you know, that's that's just been one of the happiest off-scale victories there. The lower the number gets, the more clothes I can actually wear and buy and all that. My abdomen is all over the place. Like, I feel bloated right now. I don't think this 58 number is real at the moment, but it's on camera. It's what I measured. It's where I'm at. And I just I go through different states of feeling bloated in my stomach area. My stomach area is always just out there. It's level. I'm hoping to work on that and get it lower. My hip. Oh. Now, from here, before I was not measuring the right place for my hip. That lower stomach measurement saw me doing this is what I was doing for my hip then. I measure it appropriately now and just it's amazing how it goes and it correlates well with how I can fit my pants better and how I mean I even had to buy smaller boxers recently. So that's been that's been I mean, it's not spending money, but it's great that spending, you know, on smaller clothing. And I'm not trying to get super small. I just wanted to have more options and to feel better about myself. My biceps are all over the place, but you see, I very rarely ever get to the low 17s or 16s. Uh, I'm increasing my weight training. Like I don't do that much weight. I'm not really challenging myself. I go for a number of reps versus actually stressing my weight out. Since I don't have the perfect place to work out, like I used to work out in the basement and a gym, I'm not going back to a gym. I'm not putting my stuff in the basement. I'm working on the back porch here and the floor is kind of weak. So I limit how much I do because once, you know, I reach that muscle failure, at least, you know, the part where I'm just done, I do like to let them drop. So I stay at about the 30 to 50 pound range. I'm gonna be upping that up to about 100 pounds for when I'm doing curls. But not straight to 100, I'm gonna work my way up to it, but I'm increasing my weight. I'm willing to mess it out at 100. I have about 200 something pounds in weights. So I'm working my way back up. That's right, bicep just, I just did. So, so February 9th, oh, that was right before I moved. Yeah. So it seems like moving really helps me out a lot. That's not even this year's February 9th, so, oh, last year's February 9th. <laughs> I wish it would show the year when the scale is this great, so this would be this year. So, I gained muscle after moving, and I'm losing it. I, I guess I, I don't know how to interpret that properly. I need to spend a bit more time with this. But biceps are moving well. Getting my shirts a little better. I wish they were smaller. I wish I can get rid of more of that fat. Tighter my upper arms looking like asses, you know. That's, that's not fun. <laughs> uh, thigh is trending downwards, but thigh is within range. Yeah, well within range. Right there looks like it's more stable than the left. Maybe I do do more on my right side of the bike since everything on the right is smaller than the left. Oh, left calf's been building. I have been walking more lately, but... 
Yeah, guess you use some muscle, you get muscle. Or fat. Fat could be going there. And the waist to hip ratio. For a man, you want this to be as close to one as possible, at least for my size or whatever. Unless you're like trying to go for a bigger chest or bigger chest or whatever. I'm not trying to be an ironing board, but yeah, it feels nicer to be down here on 102 versus 106. Doesn't seem like much, that much of a difference, but it's a difference. It's crazy how all this comes together and can be compared. Bye. Bye. Bye.